Welcome back to another episode of Growing With Lala's Cop. So today, you guys, I wanted to show you... Well, today I'm going to be doing thinning out the rest of my carrots. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you the friend that we have been having in the garden today or this week. Um, I went out of town and I've been finding... Where did it go? So... I'm trying to find it. This is a tomato plant. And what I'm trying to find is the tomato hornworm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, empty orange juice bottle that I have. And I'm going to place him into this bottle so that I can get rid of him. Alright, so I'm going to move this horn, this tomato hornworm, into this bottle. If you can see the hornworm right here. Just so so happy. This, this is for new beginners. This is what a tomato hornworm looks like, and they will eat eat at your plants basically, or eat your leaves. Um, they can eat the whole the whole entire plant if you let it. If you can't, if you don't uh, look out for it. So. Um, in total, I have found maybe about four tomato hornworms in the garden. So, this is the one for from today. Still alive in there. I was wondering why I saw some black poops, like droppings on like the basil and some of the leaves. So, Let's see what's up in here. It may be like a little small worm. Like when your leaves stick like that, it's usually like a little small worm. Yeah, see you can see, yep. Yep, see it right there? It's this worm. Oh. Uh, focus, see that worm right there? It's a worm right here. Let me get this worm. So I use my little tweezer to pick him up. So I don't have to use my hands. Hope you can see that. And I just dispose them in a container. Like so. So, you know, this is part of maintenance. Monitoring your plants. Especially like the plants that uh, get pests on them. I don't see any more. But those jokers are hard to find sometimes. So... When you spot them, just try to go ahead and, you know, especially if you know you want, you want to look at your plants, just go ahead and have something handy just in case you spot some. Um, yeah, this plant is producing like two extra stems with flowers already on them. There's another one over here has flowers on it. The reason why I have pests is because I have not been spraying down my plants. I've been trying to just go the natural route, even though I have neem oil, you know, sometimes that's just a little overwhelming trying to keep a schedule for pest control. So, okay, so now what I'm going to do is thin out these carrot seedlings to one plant. The carrot seeds that I planted have already started to germinate, so I'm excited about that.
So you guys, if your carrots are not ready to be harvested, a great alternative is actually putting some of carrot uh, leaves into your salad. Just wanted to let you guys know about that. So I'm gonna save what I harvest today and um, place them into my salads later on. The other thing that I'm gonna do in this video is actually use a kelp fertilizer as a spray on these uh, flowers because some of these are ready to be cut for my bouquet. Well, a small bouquet, not a big one. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna use my sprayer right here and my, nope, not that one. My liquid kelp. On the back it says, to lengthen the life of cut flowers, spray a day or two before cutting. That's the reason why I'm going to be spraying down my flowers using the organic liquid kelp because I'm ready to harvest some of the flowers. So I'm gonna only put one tablespoon, a little below, maybe not as much. Place it into the bottle. I need to rinse this out. Okay, I have my mixture right here. So I'm gonna pump it. and spray my flowers. Okay, we'll see how it does. I have another sunflower right here. See it. I'm excited to see my flower bouquet. So in the next one or two days, I may, yeah, I may harvest them tomorrow. This is a real pretty color right here. Can't wait to harvest that. These are really pretty. I'll film another video showing you guys how I spray down my plants using the liquid uh, kelp fertilizer that I have remaining. Um, but for today, I just wanted to show you guys how I use the liquid kelp fertilizer to spray down my flowers. Um, this is my first time trying it, so I will we'll see how the results are. So that basically concludes today's video, guys, of me showing you how I use the liquid uh, kelp fertilizer to spray down my cut flowers that I will be harvesting in a day or two. As you see, it does not affect the beneficial insect, but this is going to help extend the life of the flowers once you want to, you know, cut them down and bring them inside of your house or, you know, keep them outside, whatever you choose to do. So you can use the liquid kelp to uh, place into a spray bottle and spray down the leaves, and that will help fertilize the plants also. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that with the rest of my plants, such as the tomato, the peppers, the herbs, um, my cucumber beans, and my corn. I also showed you how I thin out my third row of carrots, and now I'm just waiting for the fourth row to finish growing so that I can thin those out, and then that will be all I have to do as far as, you know, thinning out for my carrots, because I'll be done with that. I'm not planting anymore. Um, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, like this video, you guys. For all of my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting and watching my videos. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button. And I will see you guys in my next video. As always, happy gardening. Peace.